a very special day. Don't mind my hair because I just got out of the shower and I just woke up and I'm about to get my hair done. It's um, 11 a.m. So I'm currently in my sister of the bride robe. I don't know if you guys can see it. And yeah, I woke up, showered. I had coconut oil that I uh, slept in yesterday and I'm about to do all of my face creams. I got a bunch of stuff here, a bunch of stuff there. This girl is still dancing. All right, let's do this. So I already I creamed in the morning, but we're gonna do it again because it's an extra special day. So I'm gonna double everything up today. Could you stop dancing? So I've done my eyebrows already. I used yeah, the like. Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I've been using this lately and I like it. I went a shade lighter, it's shade number four. I'm using the MAC Fast Response Eye Cream. So I'm gonna use the concealer to put it all over my eyes. And then I'm gonna get the paint pot and focus it on the lid area because the paint pot is a little bit drying and thicker. So I'll focus it on the lid area so that area can be extra pigmented. Sorry guys, I know I look cr 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 crazy. You gotta look crazy before you look good. I just picked up this MAC eyeshadow. I'm going for like a pinky mauve look because my dress is pink. This is in the shade Girly. So I'm just gonna put this color on my inner corner all the way to halfway through my lid. I'm taking it a little bit high up on my crease area just from the inner part. And then I'm getting the Tartiste Pro palette and I'm gonna pick up this shade right here. I'm gonna put that in the inner corner and then kind of blend it in with the pink that I just had applied. So I want this inner corner to be the brightest. So I'm taking it up to the crease. So I'm gonna then get a smaller brush with that same shadow, then focus it in the inner corner. Just pack it on right in the inner corner of my eye. And going back with that fluffy brush that I used and just to blend it in. Next, I'm grabbing the NYX Lycrook, this one. <laughs> and I'm gonna grab this mauve shade right here. This is gonna be the transition shade. And I'm not winging it out, I'm just gonna focus this shadow right here up to the crease in circular motion. So these colors that I'm applying, I'm not really taking it inwards because I want in here to be very light. So all of these colors, I'm focusing it in the outer corner and just halfway through my upper crease area, leaving this area right here very nice and light. Please excuse my hair, it's nowhere to be done. I just had to do this because we were all trying to do our hair at the same time. So I had to finish this part first, finish my makeup, then go back to finishing my hair. So please excuse this mess. This is not how it's going to be. My hair is already long, but I wanted the ponytail to be just as long as my hair. So this part right here is weave. So we had to like figure out how to do it and tie it and do all that, but we made it happen. All right, so I'm grabbing the Tarte palette and I'm just mixing these two shades. So this one right here and this one right here, mixing those in and those are gonna go in the outer corner. I already kind of started with this eye. The lighting here is really bad, so I'll show you guys the end result once I'm done. Okay, so I just finished my eyeliner. I used the Inglot 77 to apply a liner. Nothing too long or too crazy. Just to make sure nothing smudges or moves around, I'm gonna grab the same brush. This is the MAC 210 with a black eyeshadow and just go over my liner to make sure everything is like in place. This will make the black stand out more and make sure nothing smudges. All right, the hard part is done. I think I'll do my lower lash first and then I'll move on to my face so that I don't create fallout. So for lashes, so either Mykonos by Lily Lashes or 
Miami by Lose Lashes. Those are my two options. Let me put one on each eye. I always like doing that and then see how it looks. How much time do I have? Okay. So far, you guys, it hasn't been so hectic. Thank you, God. I thought it was gonna be crazier. Yesterday was pretty crazy. We didn't sleep till three in the morning, but today has been good. Okay, so these are Miami. I think Mykonos is more dramatic, so it might look better, but we'll see. So this is Mykonos. I think Mykonos, you guys, this one is more dramatic. All right, lashes are on. These are honestly the most heaviest, comfortable lashes I've ever had. They're so thick and full, but like they're so comfortable on the eyes. I made sure that it's like not bothering me in the corner because that would be a pain in the butt. I hate when it's like poking me in the corner. So that is all good, lashes on. All right, so I think now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the concealer, put it very, very close to my lower lash line just because I'm doing my face at the end. So I'm just gonna have a thin base of concealer on here so I could actually do my lower lash first and then move on to my face. This is like a dried up concealer that I like doing just to clean up. I'm basically just applying it in the area where I want the shadow to be, you know? And then I'm grabbing a little brush and just blending it out, not setting anything in. So you know how you do concealer sometimes on your upper lashes as a base? The same thing I'm doing here. I'm covering up this area since I'm not doing my entire face. And at the same time, we're priming this area so we can apply the shadows. I'm gonna go back in with this NYX palette. Let's grab a thin blending brush for the lower lash line. Guys, please don't mind my hair. I know it's a hot mess. I don't want you thinking this is how my hair is gonna be. It's just, it's a process because we're going in and out and you know. I'm going back in with this shade that we used on my transition shade. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that all over my lower lash. I'm gonna grab a very thin brush, um, like an eyeliner brush, and then just make it tighter, make sure there's no gaps, because sometimes when you're doing the fluffy brush, it's not getting those like harder to reach areas. So with a thin brush, I'm going all in there to make sure all of that is covered. And then back with a fluffy brush, something a little bit bigger, maybe the M506. And I'm just gonna blend it out further. I do wanna take this up to my wing. So I'm just gonna drag it out. Okay, so for eyeliner, I'm gonna, I was planning on doing Rockstar by Urban Decay. It's like a purpley shadow, but I'm gonna try to put this in instead. This is Soar by MAC. Just gonna clean up my lash line, make sure there isn't any black. And then let's just experiment for a second. I wanna see how this is gonna look. I actually do like, oh my God, my hair is a mess. I actually do like the way this looks. So we're just gonna do that. We're gonna put a Soar lip liner by MAC in my lower lash line, in my water line. I'm gonna go over the black liner and put black liner on my upper waterline. Okay, so now moving on to my lower lash line. I kind of got this eye started. I'm doing this type of look and then in here I'm gonna fill it in with silver since my dress has silver in it. So what I do is I just get a pointy, pointy line liner like this, pointy brush liner. I'm gonna grab my shadows and then I'm just gonna start putting it very close to my lower lash. Not all the way in the inner corner because the inner corner is gonna be glittered with silver. And then as I reach the inner corner, since this brush has a flat brush, I'm just gonna literally stamp it on like this, leave an empty space in here, kind of like what I have going on here. Just stamp it from here and connect it with the line right here. And now if you guys ever wanna make it like pointier or whatnot, you can just get some wipes and thin out the line as much as you want. So do that first. 
and then kind of start blending out the line. So now it's looking a little crazy. You guys see that little gap right here? We're gonna fill that with silver glitter. But before I do that, I'm gonna grab the pink shade, this one right here. And with a small blending brush, I'm just gonna start blending that lower lash line purple, staying in the lower line, not going in here, if that made any sense. <laughs> So now time for the silver. The silver is gonna bring it all together. Um, I'm gonna grab the Stila Diamond Dust and just fill in that inner corner area with this first. So that's kind of the base. And then I'm gonna grab the MAC Mayhem Eyeshadow. It has gold and silver. I'm gonna grab the silver part. The question is, which brush shall I use? I'm going to spray it first with Fix Plus, get it drenched so it's pigmented as can be, and dip into here, and I'm just going to go on top of it. I'm going to apply some mascara on my lower lashes. I probably should apply a little bit of some translucent powder, just so that my mascara doesn't smear or anything like that. I'm not setting anything in, I just don't want the mascara to smear. I feel like sometimes that helps, so just dotting it right here and then putting mascara. So now we can move on to the face. I already um, moisturized, well I just put serum in the morning because I knew I was gonna I wanted to do moisturizer as soon as I applied my makeup. So what I'm gonna do is first get this serum. This is the Dr. Jart Firming Serum. I'm gonna wipe away the loose powder. So it's currently, I think it's like 4 p.m. and the wedding starts at eight. And it's probably gonna stay till about 2 a.m or 3 a.m. or 4 a.m., I have no idea. So I do want this to last all day, so I'm just gonna show you guys kind of what I do to make sure that this lasts literally all night. My lips always get so dry. Now I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize. So I'm grabbing also Dr. Jart Cream Ceramidin. You just need a little bit of this stuff. Oops, that's a lot. Okay, so I guess I'll use that on my chest also. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that. So now I'm gonna double prime. I'm gonna grab the Guerlain uh, primer. This is more like an oily base primer and apply that on my entire face, kind of patting it through. Once I have that, then I grab my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. It's more like a silicone base, and I'm actually gonna apply a lot, a lot of that. Let me cut it up, because I'm almost out of it. I'm gonna apply a lot, because I do have scars on my face, like I always mention. I just mention this every time, so I can like, for those who um, are new to my channel, know about my skin issues. I'm just gonna grab a lot of that. This, this fills in my scars. Usually people put this on their T-zone area to like fill in dark uh, or big pores. I don't have big pores, I just have my scar problem. So I do the same thing. I still put it in my T-zone area, but I focus it on my cheeks because that's where I have my scars. It literally blurs everything. If you guys don't want to get the Smashbox primer, because it is a little expensive, a cheaper alternative to the Smashbox primer, and it works just as great, is the Maybelline uh, Baby Skin Primer. The key here is just apply a lot of it and press it in, don't like wipe it away, to fill in these pores. If you have like smile lines or you get wrinkles like here and here, this is good for that also. And it just makes everything last. We're gonna start with the foundation process. So I'm grabbing the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation. I am in the shade 2N2. Just wetting my beauty blender right now. All right, so I finished my face. Uh, foundation, blush, bronzer, all that kind of good stuff. And we're gonna go ahead and set the face and then apply some lipstick, apply some highlighter and we are done. So I'm gonna first set it with the MAC Fix Plus and then set it with the All Nighter, double setting. And then followed by the All Nighter. 
Grabbing the MAC, this palette right here. This is the Nutcracker Sweet Peach Face Compact. Grabbing the highlighter in here and then just applying that. I don't know if I want a blinding highlighter because I kind of want it a little softer. We'll see. On my Cupid's bow. I'm gonna apply a little bit of the Becca highlighter. This is the Gradient Glow. Just a little bit on top of it. It's a little warmer, um, so that way it's not so silvery. Just barely. And then I like to grab my blush and go over it and mix it in with the highlighter again. Just so it's not so harsh. Can I just go over all my face with it? I'm gonna do my nose. All right guys, so I applied my lipstick. For the lips, I used the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Muse. I put this all over my lips, and then in the center I put Sydney by NYX. And then in the very center, I put MAC, no name, but it's a MAC lip gloss for a little gloss. So this is the final look. I'll show you guys, actually, let me go outside to see if there's better lighting. I'll show you guys the complete look once I have my hair done. Oh, there's no better lighting because it's dark outside. Okay, let's try to do it in the bathroom. It's done, this is the look, but I'm still debating. Let me just show you guys. This is my eyes closed. I'm still debating if I should get rid of this. I feel like it's a little too like fiercey, funky for a wedding. I don't know. I guess I'll show my mom and then she can kind of tell me if I should keep it or remove it. Um, so yeah, this is the eyes. I'm also debating on the lashes. Uh, the lashes are like covering my entire shadow look because they're so thick. So I might change into the Miamis. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to show them and then we shall see what they say. So I'll be right back for the complete look. So I asked everyone and they told me not to do the little pointy situation. So I kind of um, took it away. It's still the silver with the purple underneath, but it's not pointing as much. And I thinned it out a little bit. So we have this going on. My hair is done now. It doesn't look crazy. So this is how it looks in the back. Don't know if you guys can see. So the last thing that I do is I grab um, this right here and I kind of just fill in this situation and it makes things better. You can also use just a regular shadow. So I'm just gonna be doing that. Having a nice sleek hairline. I'm just applying a whole lot more of blush because that's the first thing that goes away. Deanna, if you want more blush, let me know. I do. You think so? Mm-hmm. Because I had a lot on and it's like all gone. All right, I am done with the makeup. And the sister is getting ready in the back, finishing the last touches, and then we're gonna put our gowns on. I need you to pray for me that this overskirt is gonna fit me because your girl gained some weight. Let me just show you guys the dress. Thing I needed to do is wear some accessories and I currently have this, this, and this to choose from. I'm kind of leaning towards this thing and then I'm debating if I should keep this in my second pierce. My little brother says no. I think it gives it a little extra touch. Okay, so this is 
with. This is without. I don't know. I don't know which one I'm feeling. Is it weird if I'm feeling this? Like I know the stud is way too big. I didn't intend it to wear it here. It was just gonna be a regular earring, but I kind of like that here. It looks like it's part of the earring. Hey guys, my little handsome brother. Show them your tux. I just want, cause you look so cute. Yeah, wear your jacket. Oh, oh, you're so cute. We got the little suede, little, uh, what do they call this? I don't know. Little bow tie situation. You look so handsome. Are you excited your sister's getting married? All right, so I'm going to, I think we're gonna wrap it up here and I'll see you guys next at the wedding.